Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about why Marab Dvalish really makes the MMA Bantamweight 135 division in the UFC a little bit weird. Because even though I do think if if Sean rematch has a rematch with Marab, I think the fight goes really completely different. Um. <sighs> I think people are, are a little bit hard on O'Malley. I think the fight is closer than what people want to think it was. Um, there's an argument that it was 3-2 O'Malley. I think it's pretty... It, it is whatever that Marab won. I mean, you get taken down that many times, you can't really argue, you know, that, uh, that loss. Um, but O'Malley also wasn't offensive enough to make the argument that he won. Um, I do think Marab's hardest fight is Umar Namargamadov because even when he fought O'Malley, once again, there wasn't a whole lot of offense, a lot of control, um, which I'm not necessarily complaining because if Marab gets Sean down, it's on uh, Sean to get up. It's not on Marab to continue moving, you know. Um, that's just my personal opinion on that. Um, but, you know, Marab, he already beat Jan, I don't think a rematch goes much different. I think Corey is just bad. He wouldn't, he, Marab wouldn't lose to Corey. Song Yudong would be a little interesting just because he has some ridiculous power and he could make Marab pay. And I don't, I don't think he would, um, be worried so much about the takedowns like Sean was. So I think he would let his hands go a little bit. Davis and Figueredo is probably the second worst matchup for Umar just because of how well-rounded he is, especially at this 135 division instead of 125. Um, Marlon Chido Vera just accepts every position he's in, so that does nothing. And he already beat Jose Aldo. That fight, he didn't, wasn't able to do anything against Jose. Just Jose didn't do anything. So, and then he beats Rob Fon, Mar Batista, Martinez, Kyler Phillips. Henry Cejudo, he already beat. Sayed could make it interesting because of how good he's with submissions, but that's the top 15 right there. So the two worst fights for Marab Devalish really is Davis Figueredo. And his hardest fight is Umar Namari made off. Um I I don't think I don't think Marab Devalish Willie's title ring is gonna last all that long. Unless all they do is give him strikers, which again, I would assume the next person that's in that's in line for Marab is Umar. I would assume that's how that works. Unless Sean wants an immediate rematch. And I do think a rematch with Sean, Sean wins. It's interesting because Sean, even though he was trying to pick his shots and trying to line it up, he's the only one who hurt anybody in that fight. And hurt Marab twice with the front kick. I understand being worried about the takedown for Marab, but Sean has to understand Marab is not a finisher. He's not. He's just not. Um, he doesn't finish anybody. So, with that being said, you can afford to get taken down at times as long as you're letting your hands go when he's coming in. Try to make him pay. With his whack ass over committing shots. I mean, how many times did he throw that big left to cover distance to a takedown? I mean, it, it's it's wild. Now again, with Umar, I mean not Umar, Marab, it worked. It kept working. So you can't fault the guy for it. But I do not think I don't think we're for one gonna hear Marab talking about going up and fighting Taporia or Max. Those guys maul Marab. Maul him. Especially Max. Max destroys Marab. Destroys Marab. Because Max isn't going to be worried about the takedowns. He's just not. Um, <laughs> but I don't think this title reign is going to last all that long for Marab. And now it can if the UFC just decides to give him um, strikers. Like... You know, like Pedrian or Martinez or Mario Bautista or, you know, these types of guys. I, I, I don't expect this title run 
to be very long, and that's why I think this 135 division is in absolute shambles. It's going to be interesting next year, year and a half. Let's see what happens. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Sorry for the video being all over the place. I'm a little bit tired. But as always, guys, you're incredible. Have a good one. Peace.